Four ready the rip. Device in position. I don't have any drones close. I'm just gonna go for this. You wanna cover? One, one hookah. Cocktail close. Friendly last operator standing. Uh, four last operator standing. Close hookah. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Hey, what's going on guys? Simzy here from Disrupt Gaming and today we're going to be going over how to play Nomad. We're going to talk about the loadout and what you guys should be doing throughout the round. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future videos. Let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about the loadout. So when it comes to playing Nomad, she has two very viable primary weapons, one of them being the ARX, and the other one is the AK-74M. So when it comes to running the ARX, it has less recoil, a higher fire rate. The downfall is it's only 20 bullets in the mag, plus the one in the chamber. And then the AK has slightly less fire rate, more ammo, but the recoil is a little bit more hard to control. So when it comes to running both of these, it really depends the only downfall is the magazine size at the end of the day. So moving on to the attachments, the ARX, I run the ACOG and flash hider. If you're not a fan of running ACOG on this gun, then obviously switch this out for any other 1X site that you like to run. But the flash hider is the barrel that I use. Moving on to the AK, we have, I use a 1X site on here just because the recoil control and the hollow are using like a 1X site versus using an ACOG. is just a lot more bearable. And I also use a flash hider again. So that is pretty much my loadout. You can have a laser on if you want. I personally don't run lasers on most of my guns just because I don't really see the point. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the loadout for both of her primary weapons. When it comes to the secondary weapon, I personally don't run the hot solo pistol just because it has very high recoil um, after the first shot. So I run the cav pistol. And then of course I bring flashbangs over breach charges because a lot of the time you're probably going to be needing to burn an ADS or something, so having flashes on Nomad is always key. Alright, so when it comes to playing Nomad, you need to understand what your team is doing, because you want to make sure you know what your team is attacking and how they're taking the map, because you want to make sure that you're setting up your air jabs in the right spots. You don't want to just put your air jabs anywhere, you want to make sure it helps your team out as much as possible. So, for example, if the objective is an aviator in games, and your team is doing a master take, Typically, you would push Master, you take Statue, you take Trophy, you take Astro, you take Top Red, you push 90 Hall. So typically, the biggest things that you want to look out for when it comes to the flank is you got to worry about your Astro Stairs, and you have to worry about Red Stairs. And besides all of that, just focusing on where to air jab and how to air jab is the biggest thing when it comes to playing Nomad. Other than that, she's quite easy to play and understand. So... For example, we have the Astro Stairs here. We gotta try and air jab this as best as possible. So typically, some really good air jabs for this stair, set of stairs in particular is the side of this, this pillar right here, just placing it on this pillar. It's always good because it actually reaches across this entire hallway right here, or at the top of the ceiling right here. You could actually place it a little tucked into this support beam, and by the time they actually push up to flank Astro Stairs, it's already too late they're hitting that air jab and it's you just want to make sure you're placing your air jabs in spots that are somewhat uncommon but you just can't shoot them from those angles you because a lot of people would place their air jabs in really bad positions and you could just shoot the air jab without the air jab even going off so you want to make sure that it has enough cover and it's out of line of sight of somebody just rolling up and trying to get a shot onto the air jab so moving on to red stairs when it comes to red stairs it's a little bit tricky just because you have the basement set of the stairs and a lot of people may think, oh, you know, just air jab right here. Like, that's that's it. They come up the stairs, they get hit. They can't shoot it. Well, if they come to the bottom of the stairs, they shoot that air jab, and then they hit their red flank, and that's it. So typically, when it comes to red stairs, I actually break this plant pot in the corner just to get all this debris everywhere. And then I shoot my air jab into that debris because the debris is, although it's client side, that debris is going to cover a majority of the air jab. And if it doesn't, by the time they really see that air jab, as you can see, I don't see any part of the yellow up until I'm right here. And at that point, you're actually within the radius, so you're just going to get knocked back by that air jab anyways. So it really doesn't matter at that point. So this is always a really good one to have whenever you're playing. Although it may be hard to kind of break this plant pot, it might feel unsafe at times. You can shoot the plant pot completely, just like this one. It does take a lot of your gun to destroy this, but 
you can indeed break the plant pot by shooting it, and then you could just shoot it into the plant pot. But besides all of that, that's kind of the basics on how to play Nomad. There's not a whole lot that goes into playing Nomad, it's just really knowing where to place your air jabs and how you place them based on whatever map you're playing. If you're, you know, putting a, an air jab in a doorway, it's always best to just place it at the top of the doorway because it extends all the way down to the bottom of the door. And this one's, you know, near, you can't even look up high enough to shoot this air jab. And you're going to get knocked back at that point if you're all the way out of the doorway at this side. So just knowing where to air jab, how to air jab, and that's kind of the basics of Nomad. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button for future content. And I hope this information was useful. If it was, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys have tips or topics you'd like to see any of us go over in DG, let us know down in the comments below as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.